What's good? I'm here with episode two of this Let's Play series for Cult of the Lamb. Last time we escaped death and found our first few followers for our cult. We established a base of operations, but now we need to return to the Dark Wood in the lands of the Old Faith to find commandment stones with which to establish our doctrines. So let's jump right in. the dark wood we go and this, we have an axe this time apostates cleaver a mighty tool of unstoppable brutality swing with intent and it looks like the tarot guy is our first room tell me lamb do you believe destiny immutable no, because I do get to choose two cards from you, so I have some control over it. Uh, Rabbit's Foot increases chance to spawn better chests. This early into the game, that feels like a great pick. Feels lucky and fluffy. Come on. All is as it should be, as it ever was, as it always will be. I love this character. Um, it just occurred to me that I don't really know where the rabbit's foot came from, but I'm assuming it's, I assume rabbits behave like these squirrels, they just kind of jump in front of crazy people with axes. Um, so I'm so sorry to the rabbit whose foot I now hold, but, um, thank you for everything that you're giving me. Your sacrifice will not be in vain. I am glad I found you. I bring good news. The one who waits is pleased with your progress and wishes to grant you a crown ability. A little terrifying. Oh, the crown looks like it can grow limbs. So I can aim it manually, but there is an auto-aim, and the auto-aim seems a little easier. Enemies you slay will now drop fervor. Collect this to replenish your curses. Fervor is the righteous anger earned by striking down non-believers. And yeah, collecting it refills your curses. These tutorials tend to say the same thing that Ratao says. Um, but yeah, you'll probably see me, I'll probably mostly just let the auto-aim work, because I find mechanics like that very difficult to aim in combat. Oh no, I got hit. The water is a very interesting obstacle, because it's not, it doesn't stop you, obviously, but it, it, uh, it drags you just just enough to kind of make it difficult to dodge and aim properly. Nothing was creepy. Lamb flag statue. Statue of the mighty lamb. Oh yes. Very mighty. A little concerned that it's the version of me with my eyes glowing red and whatnot. I would rather it be this cutesy little version of me. Like, I just want a statue of me just, just chilling, you know? Okay, so wood, wood. I'm guessing tarot card, follower. Um, definitely need new follower, more followers at this, per at this point. Plus, I need to rescue my lovely forest friends. Yeah, forest friend. The worm, it is hungry, it feeds, it partakes of our flesh, but that is the price for safety. For that we gladly give it all we have. This axe is 
very slow. I think it's half the speed of the sword. I do actually like it as a weapon. It's not, like, in some games, weapons can be so slow that they're unusable. This this game, it's not terrible, but it, but it is definitely, it is difficult. It, the damage makes up for it. Because I think it does like twice the damage that the sword does. So the, the damage, the trade-off is good, but it's, um, but you do have to be careful. I'm not always careful. Steel Devotion, yes please. Can I break this? Nice cracks. Ah, I definitely can break it. And it rebuilds itself. Okay. Um, it looks like, do the cracks heal? There's still some cracks on it, but the original cracks that I made are gone. I, I love that they included that, uh, both because it, it's a cool flavor thing, but also they thought it was important enough to program it. That's something you'd only know if you broke it. Um, which kind of means they intended for me to break it, I guess? Yeah, that's how game design works, so. I, I love that. It's intended play. Okay, this guy spins little fireballs. Not too much of a threat, though. More gold nuggets. I still haven't figured out what those are for. I have 75 of them. That seems like a lot. Stars. Stars good. Okay. Um, weapon damage or attack rate. Because I'm wielding an axe, I'm gonna go with divine strength. The vigor of the great ones course through you. I should say courses. Um, attack rate increased by 1.25 times. Um, that's pretty good. That's also just the bigger bonus of the two. The other one was only 1.2 times increased damage. 1.25 is better, but particularly because I have the axe. Ooh, new guy, Haro. Eons agone, these lands were rife with gods and their adherents. What befell this pantheon? Alas, tis the nature of beasts to forget and of gods to be forgotten. Mayhap they left, mayhap they slept, mayhap they devoured and were devoured in turn. Those few who remained spread roots, spun webs, molded this world to meet them and theirs. Twere a land of many gods once, hundreds, now. Right, we got a full commandment stone here. That's what we came for. Yep, enough fragments to form commandment stone. Used to declare new doctrines for your cult. Um, yeah, not really any new information. Oh, okay. Thank you, Leshy, for killing your own dudes. So you foolishly persist, little lamb. I hear your lies and I smell your fear. The red crown rises again, but what an unworthy bearer it has. Okay. Oh, it's an ambush. Last time I think he just left. Oh, that's right, I have a curse now. Okay. 
not my best performance, but I'm fine. Ooh, fire. Flaming Shot 2, send forth the flames of the underworld. Shoot a piercing bolt of fire, hold and release at the mark to make it explosive. Oh, so... Well, I think this is an upgrade of what we have. So holding it makes it explosive. So there is a benefit to doing it that way. And on to the, the area boss. Ooh, yay, another shrine to destroy. Oh, I guess I should steal the potion first. Find inspiration unlocked. Now, I wonder if the statue's just, like, enchanted to always rebuild itself, or if it rebuilds itself because Leshy's alive. I imagine we won't really see any once Leshy's not alive. Um, so I guess we don't know. Uh, Crusader's Blade 2, that's what we had last time. Alright. Things are now one hits. They were they were just shy of being one hits before. Now they now they can seal the deal. Oh oh, that thing. That's a that's a. That thing plays like me when I play Kirby in Smash Bros. Just floating up, trying to drop on people. Another card! 10% chance of gaining a heart when killing an enemy. We're way too late in the run for that. Um, yeah, the Arachnid. The Venom of Fear knows no cure. Deals poison damage to enemies struck. That'll be more useful against the boss. Thank you, Klonik. Alright, on to the boss. So he's a big version of this jumping worm things. Grubs. And he shoots fire, so a little bit of a combo. But I can dodge through them. He actually seems easier to me than the last guy was. Oh, but he's so cute! Join me, friend! Yeah, look at that smile. Okay, gold nuggets. We have so many of those. Still haven't figured out what they're for. Stone, I'm gonna go with the bar for sure. Got another commandment stone fragment. And I'm guessing this leads home. Yep. To our cult. Hello, Mr. Squirrel. Oh, no damage from boss bonus. Twenty plus twenty percent on new items. Cool. Very cool. Oh. A little pit stop on the way home. Very good, my vessel. It seems I chose well when I kept you from death. I will be watching your every move. Do not disappoint me. I gotta say, the voice lines feel like they have no correlation to how long the text is. Divine inspiration, sleeping bags. Followers need a place to sleep. Very unstable will often collapse, good to know. Still hoping I don't need Body Pit for a while, but it's probably good to have that on standby. Ooh, almost just shy of getting the next level. Um, 
Okay, so I'll declare the new doctrine first. That's what I'm supposed to be doing. And it looks like my faith is low. Wow. Declare new doctrine. Bonfire ritual. Dance around the flame to increase the cult's faith. Sounds great. Wouldn't really be a cult if we didn't have a proper bonfire. I think I have new followers. I should probably pick those up before I do a sermon. Preaching sermons, performing rituals, and providing for the needs of your followers will keep their faith high. The bones of your enemies are... Long voice line there. The bones of your enemies are required to perform such rituals. Destroy their skeletons to gather their bones. Return to the lands of the old faith, gather bones from fallen enemies, recruit more followers, and return to perform a ritual here in the temple. Okay, rituals solve problems in the cult. Bones of your fallen enemies. I do like the wording on this one. After slaying a non-believer, desecrate their bodies to gather their bones and use them to perform dark rituals at your temple. Very different uh, message than Ratao gives out there. Um, a lot more straightforward about what exactly you're doing. Okay, indoctrinate. Tree, 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 tree. Convert me to your cult and I will follow your teachings faithfully. Or maybe it's more like tretator. Tra, tra, I don't know. Um, we got gullible, easier to level up, natural skeptic. Immediately lose 10 faith, sickly, heal slower. Um, a little bit of a bummer, but that's alright. A cultist is a cultist. A follower is a follower. Uh, you can mine, I suppose. Indoctrinate into cult. Valifar, you are also sickly. But naturally obedient, I gained the 10 faith I just lost. I kind of like having the idea of all the mini bosses becoming my principal worshippers, so I think that's what I'm gonna move toward. Unsanitary conditions at your cult will cause your followers to become sick. If a follower becomes sick, assign them to bed rest or they can die. Resting will allow them to slowly recover. Poop, vomit, and dead bodies cause illness to spread quickly throughout your cult. Cleaning messes and burying bodies will prevent the spread of illness. Alright. I like that. Um, now I'm going to do my sermon before the next day hits. Sorry to wake you up, but this is important. I need to level up. So what do we got here? Curse of the Horde. Three new curses will appear on your Crusades. Versus Bane Weapons. Bane Weapons have a chance of poisoning enemies when attacking. Um, I definitely have a tendency to forget that my curses exist. And I use my weapons a lot more. So that's a pretty easy choice for me. Lose 15 faith for disturbing everyone's sleep. Oops! But let me make it up to you by building some beds. Everybody should be excited about that. I'm just gonna kinda surround the shrine with them a little bit. Faith is not looking too good, but if I give another sermon before I head off on my next crusade, um, I think it'll be okay. Oh, and I gain faith for constructing buildings. That's cool. I think. 
think I built more beds than I have followers, but that's probably good to have some extra space available. All right, I'm gonna search, see if there's any other uh, poop laying about. I think it's interesting these stone mines have all these symbols on them, like this really was a place that fell, uh, another cult site that fell into ruin. Hello, spider. Morsel. Alright, I don't see any more poop. Camp's clean. Um, faith went up when they woke up. I'm going to give a sermon and then I will be ready for my next crusade. gave it a name. Oh gosh, I struggle with decisions like these. I'm gonna be basic and just call it Cult of the Lamb. I'm hoping, oh yeah, it says you can change the name of your cult anytime. So I might change it later, but Cult of the Lamb sounds good for now. Has a nice ring to it. <laughs> cult of the Lamb that has a nice ring to it. Yes, I agree. like a hedgehog or something, so I'm gonna assign you to chop okay. trees. That seems right. Um, oh, where's Enduceus? I want him to worship me. Worship. Yeah, there we go. I think everything. I think I like that. Um, and when I collect this, I think I level up. Join inspiration. Farm plot. probably wait to build that farm plot until I get back when I will hopefully also be able to build the farming bundle. Um, so I'm going to cut the episode here. I'll be back soon with episode three. We will venture into the dark wood once more to collect bones from our followers. Um, I didn't mean to sign off this way last time. I didn't uh, really think about it much, but I guess I'm just how I'm going to sign off for, from now on. Uh, I will catch you later. Keep it chill and stay hydrated.